all right good morning so guys i want to make this tutorial and this is the very last tutorial that i'm making on griffy bot and uh, i want you to follow very slowly now normally when you open uh, under under mr duke dot site to kikuza under the d bot there is a binary bot here when you click there this is the interface that normally happens navigate to where it's written free bots and then load your griffy bot now i believe all of us we are able to get to this point now something very important this bot by default when you've not done any setting what the bot normally does it's trading under it's trading under when you've not done any setting and uh, from the settings that we've done this the stake this the stake uh, after win number one this is your take profit this is your stop loss this is your martingale and not martingale split. When I was developing the bot, I was supposed to have this as a martingale, but uh, I, I, okay, it, it was something like an accident. I, we have it now as, as a martingale split. Huh? Let's just use it the way it is. Okay, on a martingale split, just know what I mean is just but a martingale. Prediction before loss, this is when you've not taken a loss. This is now what will be your prediction before you take a loss. After you've taken a loss, this will become your prediction. That is prediction after loss. Your entry point, this is the digit that you are supposed to wait for. It should be tagged before the bot starts to do what? To purchase contracts. And then, uh, leave this one. This one, leave this very block. What I'll need you to take a look at is uh, ticks before loss, ticks after loss. Before you take a loss, you'll be using one tick. After you take a loss, you'll be using two ticks. But you can modify that from two to one. Now, this is just but a skeleton. For example, le le let's have this very first scenario. Our market is good for over. What you're supposed to do is set your bot to over. And then you'll set your prediction before loss to one, after loss to four. And then maybe if I've uh, instructed you to use one tick... Use one tick, use one tick. And if I did tell you to use entry point digit, entry, an entry point of digit one, you can do so. Now, if you don't want to use a martingale, set martingale split to one. That is when you don't want to use a martingale. When you want to use a martingale, set it to 2.1. And uh, by just doing this full default uh, settings, what it means is your martingale will come in after you incur two consecutive losses. That is from what we agreed but what if you want your martingale to come in after you take one loss? I'll, I'll need that you navigate to the restart condition, this other side. And uh, where it's written, if loss is greater than or is equals to 2, this very block, have it as 1. If loss is greater than or is equals to 1, that is when you want a martingale after. Exactly after you take one loss, the next run, a martingale. So have it as if loss is greater than or is equals to 1, that is when you'll have a matching but let's leave it set to two but there is if you may wish to do that setting you you're supposed to do it from this end you're supposed to do it from this end change the two to a one and uh, maybe if you want a matching after three consecutive losses set it to three after four consecutive it depends it solemnly depends with the strategy that you are trading and the recovery digit when your recovery digit is extreme maybe you want to recover with over three over two over one what you're supposed to do now is uh if loss is greater than, just make it something like three or four. That is, after you take three or four consecutive closes, that is when a martingale will do it. That is when a martingale will now come in. I am back to the bot builder. Something else that I want you to understand is uh, this very first block of code, uh, the one that is if sky is equals to ABC and uh, if tick is equals to entry point, that this very block is for the first run. After the first run, run number two, run number three, run number four, what is responsible for those runs is this second block. If sky is equals to sky, that is what is responsible for the other runs. And uh, after you take a loss, what is res responsible for after taking a loss is this else purchase over. Now, for example, you want to trade uh, over one and you want to recover with under something. You want to recover when you take a loss, you want to recover with maybe under four, under five, considering your what your prediction your prediction after loss now you're supposed to only change this last block from over maybe to under and for you to do that make sure that this contract type is set to both after you set the contract type to both else under 
Now what this bot will be doing, it will be purchasing under after it takes a loss and prediction after loss is for it will be purchasing for after a loss. I've mentioned if you don't want to use a martingale, set this to one. If you want to modify your martingale, use this very block. For your entry point, you can use uh, this very point to modify your entry point. Something, something else I was almost forgetting. For example, now, you don't specifically want your bot to generate maybe digit 1 for you to start, uh, for the bot to start running. Maybe there are some digits of the same type that unataka, whenever they are, they are generated, that is when your bot will start executing. That is why I want to send you guys to go and read more on these very what comparative signs is equals to not is equals to less than less than or is equals to greater than greater than or is equals to you can also make use of this like for example if your entry point is a uh, digit two and you want any digit that is less than two whenever it's generated your bot should start executing is less than or is equals to that is you've included your two is less than or is equals to two that is zero one and two itself but when it will be set to less than 2, what it means is 0 and 1. 2 is not included. At the, at the same time, greater than or is equals to, that is a greater than entry point. If your entry point is 7 and if you want your bot to start running, if a number that is greater than 7 is generated, just set this to greater than or is equals to. 7 is included, but when it will be greater than 7 is not included. Notice equals to, if that number is not your entry point, any other number your bot will start purchasing contracts those are some of the things that i thought you, you should know about this griffy bot there are other complex settings that you can do and uh, i think iso tunafa maybe we have a session or i use a laptop to do it to take you through the same the ones that for example you want after you take a loss you don't want your bot to just recover you want it to wait for a specific digit for it to recover now what you'll do if that is the case, you'll need to long press this uh, very button. That is the whole thing. Duplicate it. After duplicating it, that's what I later, and you'll put it there. And then now you'll delete, you'll delete the other block. Now the recovery of this bot will be if the last digit is is close to entry point. That is when your bot will purchase a contract again. But now you can modify this whenever we you attack. Maybe you attack when G what is met. That is when the bot will be now purchasing a contract when 3 over 6 digits will be generated. You can still do the settings from this end. So what I could urge you is stop looking for bots. Use this very bot. It's the best by the way. From the few instincts that I've shared it can help. Have a nice day. Let me upload this video.